What's the creepiest slash most unexplained thing you've seen in broad daylight? I used to live on a farm and one morning there was a full horse leg on our driveway. Like still had part of the hip attached and was fresh. We sprinted down to our horse paddock to find all our horses completely fine. We disposed of the leg and never got an explanation. Very creepy. P.S. This happened in Canberra, Australia so Therese no mountain lions or bears around here. One of those huntsman spiders you got over there probably did it. My dad, brother, and I went to a movie theater one day in Florida, was around four-ish, so it was getting darker but still light out. We went up to the front where you buy tickets and when we looked around there was absolutely no one in the movie theater at all, no employees, no other guests. We simply walked in, looking all around to try to find anyone we could to purchase a movie ticket, but could find no one else. All the movies in each of the theaters we checked were running but with no one else inside. So we just sat down and watched a movie, then left without seeing anyone else the whole time, it was very surreal. It was 1984, I was 15 years old and was alone at my older sister's house. It was late morning, I had just got out of the shower, still wrapped in a towel when I heard a noise outside. I looked out a window and watched a complete stranger tying the doorknob of the main entrance to the railing of the deck with a rope I used to walk the dog with. He then leaned a mop, that was on the deck, against the door. I called my sister, told her what happened, got dressed, got the heck out of the house through a different door and hid in the bushes until police arrived. The house was somewhat remote with no close neighbors. Found out later the door he tied up was unlocked. No clue how long he had been lurking around before I knew of his presence. To this day we have no idea who that was and what his motives were. Beyond creepy definitely unexplained. I once came home to a very similar thing. My door was tied to my deck with a rope and the door barricaded with something or other I can't recall. It was bizarre. As it turns out, my dog had managed to open my gate and door, I was just down the street and live in a rural area, so don't always lock things. The mailman saw my dog, recognized him, and brought him home, but the dog just reopened the door and ran back out. So, the mailman tied the door shut and barricaded it. So anyway, something weird and bizarre was actually a heroic act by the local mailman. Plot twist, the mailman learned the trick from all the murders. When I was young me and my cousins found a bloody shirt in our woods. My cousins and their parents hunted so we thought maybe it was from that. But then we found a Ziploc bag with shoes and shorts, all had to be from an extremely petite woman or an older kid. When we told our uncle about it, we got punished and weren't allowed to talk about it. I don't speak to them anymore but really makes you wonder. You maybe should report that to the police now they might have some cold case that this would fit. While this can be explained the image still creeps me out to this day. It was around the time of planking craze. I had no idea what it was and hadn't heard anything about it. Got a taxi into town and was walking around the city center and life was normal. I then take a turn into the town square and there was around 200 people planking everywhere on everything. I don't know what was going on. I thought there may have been gunshots or a bomb. Or maybe the world was ending. I then asked someone next to me and they explained it and we laughed it off but for that brief moment of time I'll never forget that uneasy feeling. Edit, my most upvoted comment is about my PTSD, planking traumatic stress disorder. I believe there is a name for this phenomena, but I would never know how to go about googling such a thing. But this was around 2013 or so, and I was having a smoke in front of my apartment on the front steps in the middle of the day around noon or so. I got up to head back, and just for a few fleeting seconds while looking at the building, it looked totally unfamiliar. I knew I lived there, I knew it was my home, I knew I had just stepped outside only 5 minutes previously, but my brain was giving me some kind of indication that I had never seen this place before and that there was danger inherent. I just kinda violently wagged my head back and forth like an aggressive no gesture and was immediately back to normal. But I'll never forget that moment, it was like my concept of reality had very momentarily just cracked. Sounds alike jamais vu, when something familiar becomes strangely unfamiliar. A man with freshly exposed bone on his arm and missing a substantial amount of skin and muscle walked up to me in a parking lot asking me calmly for cigarettes. It really freaked me out, and told him I was calling 911 for him. He immediately ran off and I gave his description to 911. There wasn't much blood but the guy clearly needed immediate medical attention. This was in San Jose on an afternoon about 5 to 6 years ago. Still have that image giving me nightmares to this day. There's a guy homeless guy that gets sent quite regularly to a hospital in Dallas. Dude has nothing other than bones from calves down. 
Just skeleton feet. What happened was when the freeze hit a year or so ago, frostbite started taking everything away. He won't let doctors remove them because the local kids pay him like $10 to see it. The smell is so bad the nurses and doctors, from a level 1 trauma center, will gag, puke, even cry because of how awful that stench is. Nothing comes close to describing it. I'm honestly surprised Hess not dead. Necrotizing fasciitis and gangrene will lead to sepsis and organ failure real soon and then Hess done for. Sometimes the human body arrives at weird equilibriums. Things might turn real bad real fast at any time though. People out here dying of cuts that get infected and poison their blood and then there is this guy. Imagine being a ghost of some health freak who died of something small seeing this dude walking around. I'd be pissed. Ha 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 right. I read a rifu about a younger woman had a pimple on her labia, popped it and got a blood infection two days later and almost died. My family had the car packed up for a road trip because we were moving across the country from the PNW to the Rust Belt. We were heading to the highway to get out of town and had to take some weird access road to get there. On the way, there was some man holding a long barrel rifle to a woman's head, walking through a vegetable garden. He was holding it with one hand, and had a cigarette in his mouth, the woman was crying. My mom didn't believe me. I was 14, I know what I saw. I'm sorry your family didn't believe you. That adds an extra layer of ducked up and trying to process what you saw. Similar frustration with my family not believing me when I was 13. It was past sunset, but still light enough to see outside. I went to our backyard to get something when I looked past our yard to the street over, and heard a loud scream and saw a young woman running away in a panic yelling help. Hess going to get me. And a man chasing after her. It happened so quick but I clearly remember her panicked voice. I came inside shaking, telling my family what just happened, and they all dismissed it saying I didn't know what I really saw. Someone even said it was probably some girl playing around with her boyfriend. I know that's not what happened, and I really wish both these situations weren't real. I once saw a dog walk on two legs across a street. Scared the piss out of me. Back legs or front legs? Right legs. Crossing at a busy intersection and seeing my perfect double walk towards me. We basically eyes locked until we passed each other. A total mind duck. Even more disturbing. Instead of stopping and chatting and being amused by the entire biological coincidence. My immediate subconscious reaction was a massive rising internal rage that someone, somehow had stolen my face. Very, very weird. Man I would love to come across my doppelganger. Weird but neat. My ex keeps finding mine and trying to date them frown. When I was a kid there was a field near my house in rural Florida that glowed rainbow colors. The grass had different shades of color, all day long. That field got bought up and bulldozed decades ago for a farm however. This is the weirdest thing I've read on this post. Rainbow is in shimmering like you see a rainbow pattern in an oil spill puddle of oil? Not shimmering, but the grass at all the hues of a rainbow. Likely refracted from somewhere, but to a little kid it looked like magic. Me and my sister called it Rainbow Hill and went out there to play in the summer. So I actually have a patch of grass in my yard that sounds kind of like your rainbow grass. If I don't mow it for a while and let it get about a foot tall, it has a ton of different colors in it. I don't know what species of grass it is but it's different from the rest of the lawn. The patch is everything from light green to blue to red and when I first noticed it a few years ago I was amazed by how colorful it was. Could you post a picture if it's like that right now? Give me a bit. I have a picture from a few years ago but Imgur isn't uploading at the moment. Edit, here's the link, I got it to upload. Mobile Imgur was being difficult. Imgur.com, thank you for gold, here is another picture of the rainbow grass for everyone. Imgur.com edit again. Here's some pictures of the grass in its current winter state in case anyone was interested. You can see on the lawn photo where the fine grass is growing in a distinct area. Also remember, this might not be some crazy species. Common lawn grasses will look very different if you let them grow a foot tall and start flowering, and conditions such as sunlight and water can affect the appearance. If the ground thaws a bit this week I can dig up and isolate a section and try to grow it inside. Imgur.com Wow that is not what I pictured.